Righto. Erinder? Erinder's not here. That's weird. Okay. I think I'm warm, but I'm going to wait here just a second anyway. Alright. Farewell, everyone. We're on our way. If we can find the horses. If they're alive. What if they're gone? Where is Erinder? Weather's better, that's good. Where the hell is that dude? <laughs> Weather's better until a furious snowstorm grows near. Ah, oh, god. Do I really have to go back up to the college to find him? You know what I'm gonna do? Uh, can I do it? Can I fast travel to winter? Yes. It'll take a, a second, I think, in game time, and it'll put Erinder next to me. And the horses! Oh, wonderful. Wait, where's Glim? What? Where's Glim? Erinder, where the hell is Glim? Oh, thank god. I thought maybe the game had killed her or something. I'm pretty sure she didn't die in that dragon fight, but maybe she did. Erinder, you want to get on the horse? Do I still have... I'm pretty sure I still have... Convenient horses activated. I just turned off the follower horses, so he should get on. Where is it? Do I have to be off the horse to do this? Yeah. Followers horses. Followers horses off. So wait, by turning followers horses off... Oh, he should still be riding. Whoa! He should still be riding. Hmm. Oh, I don't want that, because that'll actually provide him with an extra horse. Maybe he'll hop on as I as I go here. Oh wait, no, it's actually an amazing follower tweaks, isn't it? And I haven't changed that at all. Have I? AFT, where is it? Is it a sp spell that I cast? Oh wait, maybe it's actually in... Wait a minute, I think I just saw it. Did I see it? Tweak commands. Tweak followers remotely. No, okay, so that's not it. Uh... Sorry, everyone. Bear with me for a second. I think we have to talk to Aaron. I, I'm willing to bet that maybe if I ride, he'll mount I'll up anyway. But I just want to verify, because it looks like he's not um, doing it. Settings. These followers are ignored. Followers never refuse command. Or combat. Ride extra horses. Okay, so that's. I'm ready. Okay. Let's continue. Alright. Well, he should be riding it. It's just, for some reason, he hasn't. And we've wasted time. It's 9.15. Okay, let's go. He'll catch up. Right? There he goes. Okay. So, sorry, guys. I could have solved that by just riding 15 feet. I didn't do it. What? What are you doing down here? Maybe that was the student. All right. I get a lot of uh, compliments from commenters on the music. Um, this track is uh, from... What is it from? Oh, hi, Fox. It's from Crusader Kings 2. As are actually, I'd say the majority of tracks that I added that aren't Oblivion or Morrowind tracks are from Crusader Kings 2. I did add some from Rome Total War, which I think I mentioned. I added one from Lords of the Realm 2, which is a great track, but I very rarely hear, hear it. Um, and then uh, I also added uh, another game, I can't think. I know I added Age of Empires 3, but then I had to remove them because they were just much too loud and they were alerting YouTube of my third party content. 
so that was not fun. Um, had to remove those, but uh, all the same, I st I think it's probably the Crusader Kings two music that people enjoy the most. It's quite good. It's an excellent soundtrack and an excellent game too. I I will LP it someday. Um, those of you who like, well, I mean, if you've ever played a Paradox game. You, you know what I'm talking about. You've probably played it. Uh, great game. And it's what got me into LPing, actually, because, as I think I mentioned in a Q&A, um, the very first LP or LP-like video that I ever saw was after I bought Crusader Kings 2, and it was the very first... Uh, oh, shit. Uh, no, I didn't want to get off the bear. <laughs> or off the horse. Crap. Yeah. I meant to hit Alt and sprint away, and I hit E and got off the horse. Um, I wonder where I quick saved. Not not too far back. Yeah, I was gonna say. Um, yeah. So the first video that I ever saw that was LP like was yeah, just right past that guy. Was um, after I bought Crusader Kings two, and I didn't have any idea how to play the game because it was my first Paradox game. So I is he killing Erender or something? No, he's just being a jerk. Uh. What is that? That looks suspiciously like something's hidden under it, but I know that it can't be. Hello? That's a clam. One moment. Clammy can't. Oh, okay, now I think we are killing the, uh, the bear. Because I got off the horse. So Aaron got off the horse. Yeah. Oh, I missed. Or did I miss? I don't know if I missed. Good. Well done. Erinder took almost no damage there. Not going to take the snow bear pelt. I know it's worth a lot because of stupid Tema Quest. Horse. Ben, what are you doing out there? You goofball. You knucklehead. I don't even know if Nordic Barnacle does anything that I want. I don't think it does. It kind of looks like something should be hidden under there. Um, but yeah, anyway, a, uh, I, I won't rehash the whole story, but a user named CKM has videos on YouTube about... It's a guide for newbies for playing uh, Crusader Kings 2. And it was watching his videos that I got referred to... Ooh, another clam. I don't know why I'm all into clam all of a sudden, but... Um, I do need food, so might as well. Um, so yeah, his his guide for newbies videos were what uh, made me realize that these kinds of videos existed. And I think it was through his that I saw a... I forget if it was Jingles, Sorcerer Dave now, or Zemolf, or Variax that I saw first as a recommended video in you know next to his videos, next to CKM's. I can't remember. Uh, but anyway, once I found them, those three, that was that was it, man. I was hooked. So yeah, I owe it all to Crusader Kings too. This fantastic soundtrack. I don't even know where I'm going, frankly. Oh, okay, so we should... Can we head up? Should we head up this way, or should we head up over there? I think over there. This is the spot where the... Stormcloaks and the Imperials always fight, and I know the camp is... Oh, the camp is up here. I should go up this way. This is where they f f fought now two times. One time we actually saw the battle. Once we just saw the aftermath. Uh, the second one being the first battle that we saw. Uh-oh. And it looks like maybe another one here. There's somebody up here. No. Oh, yep. It's the end of a battle, maybe. And a herd of goats. Some say the Thalmor grabbed him. Maybe they're preparing for a raid. Maybe we're in danger here. What the hell is this? This more storm cloaks, I guess, huh? Yep, looks like it. Do you guys know there's an Imperial? I won't say anything, but do they know there's an Imperial camp right over here? They have to know, I would think. I wonder if the Imperials are like arming. I see him charge out of the camp here in a minute. Pass it? Where is it? I know it's right over here somewhere, because there's... there's no... Oh, I passed it. I did pass it. Let's 
say there was no point beacon over there. Yeah, this is right, I remember. I think we warmed up here when we were on our way to fight against the Silver Hand to get the helm of Winterhold, I believe. Anybody home? Let's see horses. Yep, there we go, there's some life. Okay, so we'll take advantage of this resting spot here. No, I can't go that way. And we'll warm up, eat some lunch. Ooh, okay, maybe don't stand on the fire at night. Go to new places and see the world. But it's true in my case. I get 44, and it's not good. So, let's have some lunch, Erender, shall we? A bottle of wine. Uh, probably need to cook that. I should have gotten that butter, actually. Seared slaughterfish. That, uh, the butter that, uh, what's his name? Let's eat a raw tomato. Why not? Butter that dagger had. Oh, well. Okay, so we'll warm up for a second. I don't know how warm we're actually going to get. But we'll try. Erender's warming up, too. Need a 37. Okay, so we're going up a little bit. That's good. So, why'd you join up with the Legion? I saw Anaik hasn't taken sides here. She's leaning Imperial, but she hasn't taken sides. Uh, oh, I'm probably getting colder now, aren't I? Negative 40, yep. Not much point in uh, standing around any longer then. Let's talk to the leader here. Uh, what I was going to say, I'll pause it really quick while I finish the thought, is that Anaik's been leaning Imperial, but she hasn't taken a side yet. So she's not going to just say to the Imperials, hey, there's a bunch of Stormcloaks out there waiting to fight you. She's not going to, like... That would be taking a side. That would be taking the side of the Imperials. Um, at the same time, though, she kind of thinks, like, the Imperials have to know that the Stormcloaks are out there because that's been the side of two different battles. So they should at least know that that's, they need to be wary of Stormcloaks being out there. So she's not too concerned that they don't know, I guess. Like it. The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters is in solitude. Not particularly interested in that, but could you tell me anything about where there might be some Stormcloak mm -hmm. camps? Um, I imagine that you know of at least one of them, huh? And he's gonna tell Anag. Uh, yeah, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> he's not gonna say that, but uh, he's like, "There's the one around here somewhere. We, we, our scouts have, you know." seen a bunch of Stormcloaks moving in that area. We know that there's one there. And we know there's another one. He's talking about the Reach, which is a little weird, and I doesn't isn't interested in going to the Reach, but he says there's one on the road to Karthwaston, just west of Robber's Gorge. And at Robber's Gorge, Anag's ears pick prick up because uh, oh, it's not actually here. Uh, Anag's ears prick up because the courier that we accidentally killed outside of Morthal, when we were fighting that spider, uh, had this note on him. To our respectable investor, it seems our expedition to Robber's Gorge has met with some resistance from its inhabitants. I know this isn't the first time, but if you would provide us with a few more men and supplies, we are certain the treasure there would yield a return on your investment. This time, for sure. If not, we could begin searching for prospects outside of Yalmarch. A swift reply would be most appreciated. So, Anayag knows about Robber's Gorge from that note. She knows, she feels bad that she killed the courier, and she feels like maybe she has an obligation to finish his mission, whatever it was. He doesn't, she doesn't know who he was delivering this letter to, but she wants to check out Robber's Gorge to see if there's any clues as to who it might have been to. So when the legate here says Robber's Gorge, she says, oh, Robber's Gorge, I don't have that marked on my map. Uh, if you're telling me that something is directly west of it, I won't know where that is. Could you show me where it is? And he says, yeah, no problem, and he circles... The area right here where the road crosses the river. So that's the area that she'll be checking out for Robber's Gorge. So, we have a few tasks ahead of us. We want to check out the Stormcloak camp in the Pale, uh, which I think is around here. Maybe that's the Morthal, uh, the, uh, the Hjalmarch camp, I can't remember. And then we want to check out Robber's Gorge to kind of assuage Anaig's conscience assuage her guilt, ease her conscience. And then, we know, the only other camp we know of is this Stormcloak one here in the Reach somewhere. On the road to Karthwaston, he said. Off the road to the right. He said you'll pass a fort right along the road that is neither Imperial nor Stormcloak. It's could be bandits, it could be uh, mages, evil mages, we don't know. But he said when you pass that fort, if you can pass it, of course, uh, veer to the right. 
And he also said, be war beware of the Forsworn out there too. So, and Anaik's run from the Forsworn. She hasn't uh, actually fought any of them. But uh, so, next stop then is the Pale Imperial camp to see if they can give us more information on the, the Stormcloak camp nearby. I think. Uh, we're about as warm as we're going to get, and we ate some lunch, so we probably just should get going. The Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort they ripped it. And I thank the Legate for his helpful hints. We should figure out what's the best route. Should we go back down to the coast? Or should we... Let's go over to this path again. And then we can hit the road right there and speed through instead of going through Dawnstar and having to go around the coast of this little peninsula there and blah 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 blah. Yeah. This way, roughly. Now, quick save, because I don't know when the last time I did it was. You can see Azura's statue from all the way over here. That's impressive. I think we're probably going to have to deal with some exposure here. This is rather dangerous. <sighs> oh well. Oh, there's a tree dead ahead of us, right above Anag's head. For a second it looked like a statue. What the hell is that statue doing there? Mammoth skull, that's not very encouraging. Oh, I think I... Uh-oh. Wolves. Alright. Better just take them out, because there's three of them, and... You know how wolves are, they just chase you. Actually, hang on. Uh, better take a potion. If I don't die right now, which I probably will. Alright, maybe cast the flame cloak first, I think. Wolves can still fuck me up, man. Ice wolves, anyway. Okay. Flame cloak first, that's what I said, right? Let's redo this. Let's do this. Where did they go? Oh, motherfucker. Are they gone? No, they're over there. They're felling a something. Or are they fighting amongst themselves? Maybe they're fighting amongst themselves. My cloak's gonna wear out before I... They're killing hunters! Christ! Oh, no. Not a dragon. Save. God damn it. Actually, hard save. <laughs> Let's do this right. We found a hunter's camp. We can warm up a little bit. I wonder if Flame Cloak warms you up. It seems like it should. It seems like I have that on. I should, though. Okay, maybe the dragon's not gonna be bothered with us. Hunter. I will take your food, Hunter, and your gold. Not beyond that. I need to cook that. I need to cook that. It's all fresh, though. Let's see if. Do you have a cooking pot? You don't have a cooking pot, okay. Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. Where are you? Dickweed, okay. We're just gonna go, I think. We're gonna try to avoid it. Try to avoid it. Man, what a terrible hunter that guy is. Woman, whatever it was. Do I have that tower on my map? Oh, that's Nightcaller Temple. 